Kind of cold is downright dangerous, and people should take precautions. Well, they need to. Well, a few did brave the cold for a little bit of fun earlier today when the sun was out. WGN's Dana Redick reports. These outdoor dining pods have been a staple in Chicago, but tonight it is simply too cold for people to eat in one of these. But luckily, indoor dining is back, and there are folks out on this Friday night braving the cold weather. Well, I'm picking up food and trying to get back home where it's warm. It's about 10 degrees in the city, but feels like 15 below zero. Those temps will dip even lower this weekend, reaching a wind chill of 25 below on Sunday. Some took a quick walk with their pups tonight. Others ventured indoors to escape the Arctic blast. We're nuts. They're nuts. This is winter in Chicago, you know. Mary Elena Kenny dropped her kids off at the hill at Montrose Beach earlier today. So we're going, we're going snowboarding and uh, I'm feeling good. I'm wearing two sweatshirts. They're part of the, the Blizzard ski program here out, out of the Lincoln Park. And we are, we were, we we're canceled on Sunday because with COVID, you can't go inside to warm up. So it's, you know, it's different. Many out shoveling had a hard time getting that bottom icy layer up off the sidewalk. All the snow from this week now frozen solid, making it nearly impossible for some people to move their cars parked on side streets. This white sedan in North Center entombed in snow and ice. Wind, terrible wind, frozen wind, it's very cold, really cold. Well, it's a perfect weekend for the Super Bowl. Just stay inside and hunker down with the family and watch TV. In Chicago on this very chilly night, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Stay with WGN for continuing coverage of this winter weather. You'll find a list of warming centers and more at WGNTV.com. And remember, download our free WGN News and weather apps. You can get breaking updates anytime. And Tom Skilling will be back at 930 with more on the forecast.